In this video, I'm turning your submitted drawings into realistic adaptations. Cute things, terrifying things, nothing is too crazy here. Fasten your seatbelts and then let's get straight into it. Textures and backgrounds and life that I must fetch. I'm feeling this vibe. Shadows and lights start to bring it alive. Yo, it's time to cut it up and I can't believe my eyes. This is what I call for your list of five. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this brand new episode of Realistified. I know it's been way too long, but here we are. If you want to send your drawing for a next episode, make sure to send it to realistified at bennyproductions.net. Today, we've got a bit of a spooky episode because Halloween is just around the corner. Let's just get straight into it, shall we? Dear Benny, I made this drawing in class today and thought I could send it to you for the Realistified show. It's like Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc., but his legs are torn off. It's pretty gruesome. That is quite gruesome for sure, but let's just go ahead and make this look a bit more realistic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in Photoshop. I have dropped in the image as you can see here and uh, let's just get into it. I thought I could use this to make his body with because it's nice and slimy. We love that. So let's kind of lay it on top of that and use some warp to adjust the shape. Of course, it does have to be identical. There you go. Something like that. Then for his eye, I found this thing. So let's also just kind of put that in place. Something like that. And for this, let's mask out his eye and make sure the shape matches as well. There you go. Make a mask and boom. Beautiful. This looks incredibly demonic. Um, moving on. Oh, and of course, iris i just have a uh, very simple red iris which i can put on there um let's make this look a bit nicer first we of course need some shadows on the edges of this eyeball to make it look like it's really 3d and inside of his body so to speak something like this and a bit of a highlight up here as well there this is already a bit better and then we probably want to have some shadows on here as well to make sure that looks actually nice and round why do i always make such demonic things why can't it never just be nice or sweet i mean look at this what the hell now to make that look a bit more spherical i'm going to use this reflection texture which i can put on screen and then kind of put that on top of the eye thing right here something like this now it instantly looks a bit more round also looks a bit more wet let's fade it out on the edges a little bit there you go yes that is uh that is pretty good and this eye has to be right there oh my god dude what the hell <laughs> what am i making the horns i'm gonna steal from this uh guy I'm very sorry, bro, but I need your horns. And there you go. Um, and then let's just kind of put that on there with a bit of warp. Beautiful. Let's copy that to the other side. And there you go. Beautiful. <laughs> just a few shadows to make it look like they actually belong here. Make the background a bit darker since it's going to be a very dark children's room. And so for his mouth, hear me out. I thought, uh, <laughs> let's just cut it out and see what happens, I guess. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Um, let's go ahead, use some warp to uh, match the shape. I actually really just don't want to see what this looks like. I feel like this is going to be so much worse than the actual drawing. <laughs> let's fade out the edges. Bro, what is happening right now? This is going to be a nice addition to my portfolio. Now I have to make some of his limbs, which I'm just going to use this ball for as well, I guess, because why not? Here you go. Beautiful leg. <laughs> this is literally getting out of hand. And for some unknown reason, his legs are chopped off. So I guess let's <laughs> let's just go with that as well for his arms it's of course the exact same thing nothing special there then i'm gonna make the bones sticking out of those legs dude this is so cursed actually there you go i wonder what the thought process was of the person that made this drawing i mean maybe there's like a deeper meaning to this drawing that we have no idea about well that is mike as far as you can call this mike i'm gonna make the environment now <laughs> Thank you. 
Very nice. I'm quite happy that the flashlight effect actually worked because I've never done that before, like I said earlier. But uh, yeah, I'll send this back to you as soon as I can. Then our next drawing for today was sent by Jason. Hello, Benny. My son Logan loves your YouTube channel and would really appreciate it if you could recreate this drawing he made. Logan lives in Reno, Nevada, USA and is 11 years old. Thank you. A very creative drawing for sure. I am for this one only going to use the astronaut part because I feel like that has the most potential. So let's drop that in Photoshop and get started. Ladies and gentlemen, first we of course need a background sky, that being space, because this is an astronaut. I do want to tilt that a bit though, like this. For the body of the spaceman, I actually found a 3D model I'm going to use. It had a few different angles, so these are the parts I collected. And using these, I'm going to build up the astronaut. First off, let's make sure this fits nicely. But this is already pretty close, so as you can see, that pretty much fits instantly. I do want to use the initial pose just a little bit, so I'm going to replace this arm. That is what these two parts are for. Let's see if we can sort of stitch this together like this and then we put that on there somehow. First let's erase the original arm and then hopefully we can just kind of connect this since it's already the same kind of like that. And just like so, we put the astronaut together in sort of the same pose as the original drawing. So let's go ahead and put it in the same spot. As you can see, it is pretty different still, but this one is more about the idea. Like this is my interpretation of this drawing, just so you know. Anyway, uh, the tentacles. I have a bunch of these from Envato Elements, actually. Um, and let's put those in here. First, let's see which ones I have, and then we'll try to put them in the right spots. There you go. These should be pretty good. Of course, for this, we are going to use Puppet Warp because it is far superior to Warp in this case. Put that behind our guy. And just like this, we're basically just gonna have to add a bunch of these tentacles. And I'm not gonna do it exactly like the drawing at this point, like I already said, because I feel like, you know, we just have to freestyle a bit with this one like this. Later, I will make it look like they actually come out of his arm. But right now, I'm just going to put them in place first. And a very large curly one from his back. Ooh. Ooh, and this one can be like wrapped around his leg like that. That isn't in a drawing, but how cool would that be though? Dude, and this one around his neck. Yes. Dude, that is actually so sick. This should be pretty much enough. For the holes in a suit, I'm actually going to use some ripped jeans because that seems like the easiest way to do it. So let me just try that. I'm gonna cut out this uh, tear and then kind of put it somewhere. Now that of course has to be red because so is a suit. Um, Let's do something like this. And then I'm curious what happens if I simply fade out the edges like so. Does that look nice at all? The inside of this should be very dark because I don't want the skin tone to be visible. Just like so. I guess this could work. Now we just have to make sure that this is nicely connected. And then on this guy, we are going to need a shadow like this. And that should look... Yes. Well, that is very good to know. Let's do that to every single one of them. This is a very nice hole. Let's go and use this on this side right here. And like I said, this is the exact same process for the other one. So, uh, well, gotta make sure these are in front of it though. And then again, make the inside black. It's pretty straightforward. It does look very nice. I actually did not really expect that since these tentacles looked pretty wacky when I found them. But I guess for this it works. So uh, for this one, I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna make it look as if his uh, zipper is open. There you go. Dude. That's great. The ones that come directly out of his body are now done, but the ones that are just kind of wrapped around it and hanging on the sides, of course, need some shadows as well. So let's go ahead and get that done. Probably even more important are the shadows below the tentacles that actually touch his suit, because that's where it actually has to look like they're, you know, well, touching. <laughs> Ambient shadows, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. That's already a lot better, dude. And most of all, under this one around his neck. Like that. Yes. Then finally, shadows on the ones at the back. And we should be pretty much there with the tentacles. As for the overall lighting, the main light source is definitely on the left top, I think. But then there's also a light source right here from the bottom right. So I guess we'll just do both. Let's add a bit of a highlight on some of these tentacles. Actually, wouldn't the suit be way cooler if it's like yellow? Something like this. I actually like that way more. Let's do that. This visor, I do want to be transparent. So let's kind of tap on there to make it gray. Beautiful. And we can also try putting one of these cracks in it as well. And then through there, you can see the actual face. That will be very cool. Okay, and you guessed it. The inside is going to have to be black again. Because trust me, that will look very, 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 very cool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where I'm going to put my face. In the drawing, it's also sort of a monster type creature. So let's just do that here as well. 
bunch of teeth. We like that. Let's make sure it's only inside the helmet. There you go. And then as you expected, we're going to have to add a shitload of shadows again. Just in there to make it look a bit more, you know, stylized and realistic. Like that. Already looking a bit better. Dude, that is actually creepy as hell. And then to finish it off, we need to add a bunch of these uh, sort of black creepy eyes because the original drawing has a bunch of eyes as well. I'm not sure if this will look great, but we'll just try and see what happens. It definitely does look out of this world. That's for sure. Dude, that is literally demonic. What the hell even is this? I created a literal demon. To be fair though, this is looking pretty cool. It is however pretty simple. I'm not sure what I should add next. It's kind of nice how clear it is because usually my stuff is kind of hazy, but I'm not sure if that means it should be considered done because I, I feel like this is a bit too simple. We can of course always add a very soft glow around the bright areas as if the light is bouncing off of that. That usually works very well in space. Maybe some extra highlights on this arm since it's not really present there and it should be there. But other than that, I mean, what else can I possibly add? I can of course always add a very soft haze behind the subject to make it a bit more there you go yes that is literally exactly what it needed dude what the hell that made it so much better this is so different from what i usually make i can of course try adding some blood completely forgot about that let's set that to multiply and then just paint over that i guess this does add something just a little bit more detail and some on this arm as well seems to be pretty cool oh look at that yes Ooh. You know what? Let's just go ahead and add a camera raw filter. For some reason, I just kind of like how simple this is. It's completely different from everything I've ever done. So maybe I'll just leave it like this. The clarity is also very high, which is something I really love. The color grading, of course, is the most important thing here. Very unique, this one. I am very happy with this because it's, it's different. Like I keep saying, uh, I like making stuff that's different from what I usually make and it doesn't often happen. So now it did and... I like the way it looks. Back to the studio, I guess. Very nice, very unique. I'll send this back to you as soon as I get the chance. And then let's jump in the final drawing for today. Hey Benny, this is Arnav here. This is my best piece so far. I have been hesitating to do Among Us characters for a long time. I've been sent a bunch of them. And today I thought, you know, let's just go ahead since this is Venom and I like Venom. So let's just freaking go.
And there you go. For some reason, today's drawings turned out a bit different than usual, which I like. I'm all for that. And so I can say that I'm very happy with today's video. And remember, if you want to send your drawing, send it to realistified at bennyproductions.net. And then I guess for today, that's it. If you like this video, make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a single video. And then I hope I'll see you in my next video.